730-92.1 WROI WROI FM.com We are streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5 Audio and video live on RTC Channel 4 Hello Scott Good morning Tom How are you? Nice to have you back in the studio Good to be here sir oh, Always nice to have you in the studio And of course if you have a smartphone or an Android You can download the TuneIn radio app Take us wherever you happen to be going Which we know today since it's Friday We'll be the first federal savings bank where you can say good morning to Dick Belcher. Good morning. <clears throat> morning, Scott. Good morning, sir. Yeah, Purdue and IU are still in the tournament. That's a good thing. Yeah, they're going to play this <laughs> afternoon. Yes, sir. Okay. Not each other. That'll be later on. Yes. That'll be a good matchup. Yeah. I want to see it again. There's a lot of upsets there, though. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's time for the upsets. <laughs> Daylight saving times coming. That's right. Yeah, overnight Saturday into Sunday. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Moving Let's forward. See. I always forget which way to turn the clock. We're going to spring them forward. Spring forward. That's right. Okay. Yeah, we're going well, to. I usually forward. go the other direction, and then after a couple of days, I realize it's the wrong way. Uh, just let your smartphone. Well, tell you, you, what you time know why the, the, the Hoosiers up until a few years ago when Mitch Daniels came Well, uh, Governor Daniels, yes. Yeah, yes, we owe him the, they didn't change their clocks. We, we owe him the credit of being able to change yeah. our clocks. And the poor people in Pulaski County, they really got followed up with that deal. Well, they didn't know what time it is. They did not. No. They did not. I remember talking to their superintendent at that time. He, he didn't know, you know. Well, at the bank in Winnemac. Yes. Uh, we had one clock one time and another <laughs> clock another time. <laughs> So when employees came in late, they said, well, I'm on slow time. <laughs> and then, but they always quit on fast time. Well, sure. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Did you watch the debate last night? About an hour. That's about all I could take. Woo! You got through an hour? I got through about an hour, and, and that was it. And what was, what was your analysis? I had none. Same old thing. Same old thing. Yeah, basically. Well, they, the recap this morning was it was calmer. It was calmer, I thought, yeah, in the first hour. Less profanity. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Where's it go from here is the big question. Well, that happens Tuesday. That's right. Big. Uh, big day Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, Florida and the Ohio. Ohio, big right? Big deals. Right. Okay. All right. A little, little trivia this morning. I'm ready. <laughs> this is from Dina. A list of top five most stressful jobs came out recently. The first four most stressful jobs are military, firefighter, airline pilot, and police. What was number five? Well, there's only one way we could go with this. Surgeon, broadcaster, or event coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say cameraman from RTC. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, in sports, uh, Big Ten tournaments on. Going lots strong. Of, lots of basketball. Going strong. Uh, mm -hmm. Upsets yesterday with uh, Illinois winning yeah. over Iowa, and uh, Nebraska won last night. Right. Michigan just barely got by Northwestern. Just barely. Uh, Northwestern had a bad call at the end on that traveling. Yeah. yeah the coach was a little upset about that. <laughs> I bet he was. <laughs> But Northwestern, uh, they, they they have won 20 games. That's the most they've ever won. Good in, season for in them. the history of the school. Good season. So we'll give the coach a bonus. Give him a timeout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Notre Dame came from being down 11 to beat Duke. Okay. You think? Big win. Coach Ev, uh, they might be firing him. Shostakovich? Nah, he's good. He's, he's good never for had life. A season like this before. Yeah, he's good for life though. Yeah, okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, we got a lot of events coming up. We do. A lot of fried fish. <laughs> fried chicken. All over the place, right? Yeah. But the Presbyterians on St. Patrick's Day are having yeah. their annual supper and dinner, so you can go down there, and I think that's ham loaf. It is ham loaf. Only, only like the Presbyterians oh, can I'll tell make you. it. Good. Yeah. It's got that blessing right in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along before I get into any more trouble. Yeah. The th third annual Habitat for Humanity Antique shows on this weekend. Yeah, started last night. Yeah, we talked about that. Uh, so get over there. You can get to on Saturday. You get right. some things you want to have appraised. You can get it appraised. Bet. I got some things I might Do you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
There will be a breakfast buffet tomorrow morning at the Fulton County Museum from 7 to 11. Tickets for the breakfast will uh, also get you into the Living History Fair. Excellent. Akron Lions Club sells fried fish four to six Saturday and at, at the Akron Community Center with an uh, accompanying bake sale. Okay. So you can get fried fish and pastries and your cholesterol go up 20 <laughs> points. <laughs> Albanovi Township Fire Department will have a fried fish and chicken fry uh, March 12th from four to seven at the uh, fire station. Cookies and Canvas, a fundraiser for Trinity United Methodist Church, is 10 to 1, March 19th. An instructor will teach attendees how to paint a jar of pastel flowers. Oh, okay. You do that, Scott? He does it on TV. Pastel flowers. Yeah. Oh, you do the knitting. <laughs> Are you there, Scott? <laughs> be he's on his head. Yeah, yeah, there'll be an inform meeting, an informal meeting, uh, informational meeting about the Fulton County Farmer's Market at 7 o'clock, March 17th at the Rochester Church of Christ. Vendors and grow growers of fruits and vegetables are invited to come. Okay. Get ready for spring so they know what to plant. That's right. Rochester Rotary Club's seventh annual trivia night is 6 p.m. April 20th at the First Christian Church. We got a team. Do you? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's called Dollars and Cents. Dollars and Cents, huh? That's Excellent. Our, that's our marketing department. Yeah. How have you done in years past? That's our marketing department. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we did well. I'm sure you did too. Yeah. 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 All right. You know what the average amount spent on a prom is now? Prom's coming up. Yes. You, know, you got your. You is this, is this, is this like yes. a. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tom like, a, like, like a trivia? Can we. No? No. I'm okay. just saying. Three hundred and twenty dollars. Three hundred and twenty dollars. Oh, wow. That's way underrated. <laughs> is that very reasonable? No. No. Okay. It's much more. Okay. Much more. Yeah, it's much more than that. I work at a high school. Mm. It's much more. <laughs> I'd say five hundred or more. Why are wow. you disputing my number? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. We just live a little fancier. We're just trying to, We're just trying to get the number one answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all we do. That's how we roll. Do you ladies know who George Martin was? George oh, of course. George. I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's the fifth Beatle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she was talking about the Beatles. Yeah, well, I she did. Got it. it was a songwriter, yeah. correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Producer? Producer. Yeah. Yeah. Beatles. Producer. Producer. Yeah. Producer. Yeah. He made him famous. He made him famous. He died. Yeah. yeah. At age 90. Oh. Nancy yeah. Reagan died. Yes. Yes. At 94. Yeah. 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 As a matter of fact, one of the uh, former students at Pioneer High School was is a pallbearer for her. Really? Oh, yes. Wow. Bradley Biggs. It huh. was on CNN. Mm -hmm. Former What's Pioneers. The huh? What was the connection? Um, he is a Navy. He he's in the Navy. So. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Got okay. it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. See, we're just learning all kinds of things this morning. Uh -huh. These guys need to be on more. Oh, often. we have <laughs> any time. <laughs> We haven't started yet. <laughs> we're trying to keep quiet. We were told. Be quiet. We're sorry. Hang, it's hang. hard. We did really good, but like the first five. Yeah, minutes you did. Yeah, really, yeah. Okay. so impressive. Well, hang on, three more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so impressive. Fulton County Sheriff Chris Sailors purchased books for fourth grade students at Cast and flowers to him. You bet. And uh, we got to give some flowers to Val Pemberton and Let's Harry do. Webb and Let's that do. group uh, that they got the meth. Uh, bill through last night they late did. and uh, waiting for the governor to sign it yep. which there's every indication that he will do that okay money news you ladies will be interested in money right yes yeah yes. Okay. well why do you think they went to family feud in the first place right? <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are getting paid to do this right <laughs> yeah by the bank <laughs> yeah i yeah i hope there's money <laughs> Stop down after the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who should we ask for? Well, <laughs> that's where we're going with marketing the, department. <laughs> we're, we're in the room with the donuts and coffee because that's probably where you'll end up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. money news. Yeah. All right. Uh, the European Central Bank uh, reduced their interest rate. Is that good news? No. 
uh, the market liked it. Okay. They're, okay. they're negative already. They were negative 0.3%. Okay. Now they've gone negative 0.4. Really? That means that the banks, put when they put money in there, they got to pay to leave it there. Right. We, we talked about negative interest rates. Right. It's but going on Japan, too, right now. Japan, Sweden, right. other places. Not at First Federal. No. No, we are not charging for no. deposits yet. No. Yet. Yet. <laughs> yes. Yet? Okay. <laughs> Now, Marriott no. Hotels, Yes. and they announced this week that no more Chinese towels and mats. Oh, really? all, all U.S. made. All, Excellent. All 3,000 of our hotels. Wow. They'll all use, and it'll be so much better to be dried off with a well, I wish I, made towel. I'm for the, sure. I wish I, was yeah. the, I wish I was the vendor for that. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it also made the note that Trump Hotels gets their is from China. <laughs> okay, let's see here. At First Federal, okay, we we got to talk a little bit about the Dow. Dow uh, was down five points yesterday, sixteen thousand nine ninety five. Right, it's creeping up. Where will it close today? Uh, it'll be up a little. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I saw an interesting statistic where they talked about the past seven year yes. bull market. Yes. Sixteen trillion dollars yes. had been added to wealth. That's with a T. Right. Mm. How'd you know that? I saw that same note. Uh, I thought I was unique with the Well it is, it started. is. The only problem is that the, the people who get that sixteen trillion are already the people who are substantially invested in the stock market. Yes. Everybody else just... Yeah, but they're, they're the ones that lost a lot of money, too. Well, but they're making it back now. Well, yeah, that's why we're, <laughs> that's why we're talking about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, at First Federal, we're open uh, until 5 o'clock. All wild ladies will not get in today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't lose anything there, Scott. Okay. Our new and improved ATMs are up and running. You guys should try those ATMs. I use them every day. Take your picture and give you money. And Our pictures. Take your picture. I have to do my hair before I make a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. And soon start paying. I probably get dressed before I go to the bank. I mean, out of my pajamas. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> you clean up pretty good for a Friday well, morning. Yeah, she's You've seen me on the ATM machine then, huh? Uh, <laughs> well, let's see, those cameras are outside all those ATMs. They go right to my office. <laughs> we'll be sure and wave today. Okay, student checking. Yes. We have checking accounts designed for students age 16 to 24. You'll like it. For details on any of our checking accounts, come in today and talk to our new account representative. And see Connie. Yes. You used to Good work morning. at First Federal. I did. Started my young career at First Federal. And it was. A, and this wild lady's been in your bank often. You just are watching. <laughs> oh, oh. He's watching the camera. So. Okay. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but yes, I did. I worked with. Uh, I worked at your Winnemac branch early nineteen. 80 through about 1984 when I chose to stay home with a new child. And it was the greatest experience that you've ever had, right? <laughs> it taught me all about okay. banking. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You can follow First Federal on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines and a delivery fee for it may be applied to the loans that we make. 399927. That's right. Thank you. You're welcome. We're legal now. Okay, the Hopkins sisters. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, oh, no. as, Steve, as Steve Harvey would say, from Winnemac, Indiana. Uh, no, he right. went from Winnemac. <laughs> All right, now t t tell us uh, why you're here. And well, don't don't tell. Us. <laughs> we don't even know why okay. we're here. <laughs> All right, you were you were on some game show. We were we were on Family Feud. Um, we were, well, we aired in July, but we actually started this process a year ago, January. Yeah, the process? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the process. Well, um, my sister Tammy lost a son, Ryan, um, last May, April. April, May. And so anyway, to just to keep things um, 
fun and to encourage her, we decided that we were going to do something really fun and crazy. So, as children, we always wanted to do a game show. Sure. And so Family Feud fit us perfectly because there was five of us and... Only five? Yeah, five <laughs> girls, that's it. So we decided that's what we were going to do. So we all got together. I spearheaded everything. I got everybody together and said, let's do this. And so in January, we made our audition video to send to Family Feud. And you can that view that on car? YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You can go to YouTube and watch okay. that. Did you get and to see that? I saw it. Nice. Yeah. 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 What did you so, think? Well, what do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I love that you say, Dick, that of no, course, it was, it of was, course that's it why they great. were selected to I, go on. I would have liked to have been the state trooper. that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny thing about that is uh, everyone asks us, so who was it really a cop that pulled you over how did you know or where was the camera and how did you get all that on film so we just get a chuckle over that yeah. every yeah. time of course it was our nephew luke connie's son. my boy yes <laughs> was our policeman <laughs> so anyway so we submitted our video to family feud and then um we heard back from them they want us to come out to go down to louisville for an audition in february so we did that met with the executive producer that day she said she liked what she saw and to wait a couple months to hear from them if we heard from them that was a good thing and that we would probably be invited to go out to Atlanta but okay. there was no guarantee right so we got our postcard and it said as you know you've been chosen to go to Atlanta we're like no we didn't know that but that's pretty cool <laughs> that nice. and uh, so anyway but there was still no guarantee when we got there that we were still going to be on the show that right. we had to audition one more time in front of all the producers so anyway so we got a phone call and had all the arrangements made for us to go to Atlanta so then when we got there, then again, we had to audition, like I said, in front of all the producers. And then after about 20 minutes, they, they loved us. They, yeah, they, they did. did. We made it through the audition, and they were very impressed with us and just really enjoyed our family. And I think what a lot girl. of people don't maybe know is they film six shows a day. Okay. So this particular day, Steve Harvey's wife had come in the night before, and he was tired. I don't know why, but he was tired. <laughs> but anyway, so they cut the show to five that day, and we were afraid we wouldn't be on the show. The fifth game, they finally called us up, and now we think we know why. We were the energy to bring Steve <laughs> back to life, because after about 20 seconds, seconds, which would have been our introduction, maybe you all have seen that too on YouTube, I think, but uh, Steve Harvey looks at the uh, the producer and he's like, he puts his eyes, I can't do what he did, but he puts his eyes up like this and he's like, thank you, thank you for this. <laughs> so we feel yeah. like we energized him. And they, well, they even told us they saved us for last because, you know, we were very energetic and they wanted yeah. Steve to, to come alive. <laughs> so yeah. so alive again. The show was taped in Atlanta? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And they yeah. do six at, the, at a time? Uh, they yeah, were five or six. six. Yeah, when Steve Harvey walks in at 11 a.m. daily, then you work until uh, we were at the studio until nine, about 9:30 that night. But it's all business when Steve Harvey gets there. But the contestants are picked up early at seven and then shuttled over. The but it was a it was a five sisters all paid vacation is how we looked at it so we knew Excellent. that when we were selected to go to atlanta with uh an all expense paid trip for five sisters we were there <laughs> so any winnings were just an added bonus sure. Seriously, yeah. and it was one of the most fabulous most fun times that we've had in our life and we've had a lot of very memorable times in our life well you won yeah. three games Correct. Right, yeah. and then and they're very close to winning the fourth game. Yes. Yeah. Right. Just didn't quite we quite just, get yeah, the last one. So yeah. hard over something you steer. I'm still hurt <laughs> about that. Yeah. Sue and I actually watched that. We watched three out of the four of them, by the way. But we Thank wondered you. about that too because that was a that was a wild question. <sighs> well, his first answer was livestock. Right. And so they they are very good about be saying be more specific. So they were debating between horses and cattle. And I'm like, say horses, because I, in my head, yeah. I know cattle's the answer. So when he said horses, I thought we had a chance, but it, because uh, I thought it was cattle, but no, we yeah. lost it. So, yeah. There, <laughs> was, there was some funny answers. You know, if I could say I heard about all these fish fries coming up. Now, I don't know if you know, my sister Connie's really good with a gun. 
Again? If you watched, if you watched the episode, but anyway, if you watch the episode, you're going to know what I'm talking about. But also, she's really good with a fishing pole. So okay. if, you, if any of these people need extra fish, you know they need like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, it was. Yeah, I I said some. We had some bloopers. Here's the very interesting fact. Every answer that each of us gave singularly, we you cannot speak to each other during the game round. You can only speak to each other if you're trying to steal right. uh, the, the game from the other family. So during the time that you're trying to think of what's up on the board, you have so little time, and every answer that we gave, uh, that I gave anyways, I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> Somebody had to think outside of the box occasionally. That's because right. there's always, at the end of the survey, there's only a couple people who might say something really interesting. Right. Well. I had one of your beautiful employees tell me, Connie, you had the most crazy questions of any of your sisters. <laughs> you had the most crazy answers of any of your sisters. And I'm like, well, thanks a lot. I did my best thinking outside the box. <laughs> well, you this particular it. question was name something you find under your bed. Now, my sister, Tammy, had already said dust, which, yeah, everybody's got yeah, dust right, under their bed. Right. So Steve Harvey, or she got beeped, and she's like, does so Steve Harvey lost it he couldn't believe that she, well he thinks we're his country girls so anyway he couldn't believe Connie had guns under her but I mean, doesn't everybody have guns under their bed sure yeah. and I, really? here's the funny thing I really don't have dust Mark. and I really did have guns but <laughs> dust I knew was a very common answer so when Tammy got beat and I had to think of something outside the box right what I answered was truth for me yeah under my bed yeah I was thinking so. boogeyman uh, yeah. That's what I, yeah. Okay, let me interject here. <laughs> oh, yes. Hello, Dick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're here. Well, pe people out there out on the highway that are listening to this, well, who are those three creepy people? Well, the Hopkins sisters yeah. right. from Winnemac. Right? Yes. 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 They uh, have been on Family Feud and uh, set, uh, set things on fire at Atlanta and Louisville. Yeah. Tell us the story about Louisville and your shirts. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, we are three of the five Hopkins sisters. We have Karen, Laura, and Connie. The When we were asked to come to the audition in Louisville, we weren't sure what to expect. But Karen had a brainstorm that we would walk the 22 blocks from our motel downtown to the convention center where the Family Feud was auditioning. 22? Uh, 22 blocks. Okay. Heels and all. Nice. We had okay. on our heels and everything, but we walked well, down. We got lost the timer too. Yeah. Got That's lost the timer too. We probably stopped for a glass of wine somewhere. Yeah, of course. Made it to the convention center, and it was brilliant because we were able to, for the first time, see what was going to be expected right. of us on the big stage. And when we left the audition, there were many people that would be competing. About 5,000 contestants that weekend. Wow. So about 1,000 families were asked to go to Louisville to try out for uh, making it even one step further. Anyways, about the shirts. It became very... Yeah, I'm sorry. There's so many things. We got five answers. Okay. okay. Anyway, anyway, so, no. We saw a poster of Steve Harvey. We all went up to him, touched him somewhere, snapped a picture, got a t-shirt made. Oh, suck in the gun. Walked, in, walked into the studio, auditions, all dressed alike, like this. high heels, walking in with confidence that we were going to be on that show. We go. walk up to the guy that's given the name tags. And I said, we're here to win this game. And yeah. he said, it's obvious, girls. So anyway, <laughs> later we find out that's the cameraman. So uh, yeah. next yeah. to the, yeah. the he was producer. out. He was out working the crowd. So we didn't know that. We were talking to him and yeah. high-fiving. And he was walking with us. And then come to find out, he was one of the producers of the show. Uh, well, I yeah. said that. Oh, do, they, yeah. did they, <laughs> do they do a lot of editing? Oh, oh my so goodness. Much. I wish they wouldn't even have showed the show. Yeah. I wish they would have shown the other <laughs> Everything yeah. they edited, we wanted to see. Oh, sure. yeah. Steve Harvey is It the takes about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes to film one show. Okay. And then they edit that to 22 minutes. I was going to say, there's not a lot of content, really, because you got the commercials that appear in the show, too. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking about 20 minutes or so yeah. of content. It's about all okay, now, what are some of the do's and don'ts that they uh, include you in before? We had, the first, the first day they told us, girls, 
you need to bring it down a little bit. Only team ever, <laughs> ever on the Family Feud to be told to bring it down. Yeah, yeah. The first Congratulations. Show, thank you. The, <laughs> uh, the first show was Steve Harvey. It, I, I hate to say it, but it's, it, but they fell in love with us. The next day we go to the studio, the producer says, girls, remember what I told you about bringing it down yesterday? They said, no holds barred. Bring it all. <laughs> this whole studio and Agreed. Steve Harvey loved everything. So, yeah. well, you know what? We came to bring it up anyway. We weren't sure. going to listen to them. No. No. We <laughs> no. don't know how. Yeah, well, we were sure how to how. it down. So when we started toning it down, they came and said, what's wrong with you girls? And we're yeah. like, well, you told us to tone it down. We don't know how. Yeah. And they're like, forget it. Forget <laughs> it. We're just bring it. Be yourself. We, we never met anybody like you guys. Yeah. So it was a compliment. So what's next for the Hopkins sisters? What show, what show are you going to do next? This one. <laughs> <laughs> we were excited about it. Everybody, yeah. I mean, everybody was saying how excited they were to see us. So we have a lot of Red Rochester friends. As a matter of fact, um, we my sister Debbie bought a home on Lake uh, Manitou. Excellent. And uh, yeah, so we would go to her house in the summer with our shirts and jackets and practice what? on her deck every almost like practice, once a week. Practice what? Our introduction. Well, we by everybody. We are not yeah. sisters. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are sisters, <laughs> but anyway, we had an introduction. If you watch YouTube, you'll see our introduction. So we'd be out there practicing, and all the boats would go by, and uh, they would uh, shout out, Go Hopkins Sisters, or if they saw all of the cars there, the neighbors would all come over with cheese and crackers, and, you know, we had to tell them to leave. We had work to do. But anyway, we yeah, all got a lot of support from Rochester. Yeah, sure the people over at Shepherds, they were, they were great supporters, the Moose. Yeah. I love the way you guys danced. It was cool. Uh, it was yeah. cool. We said, uh, at one point I said, and this was absolutely how I felt, we have never worked so hard to play a game. Yeah. You know, five <laughs> girls exhausting. only six years separate right. our ages. Yeah. Right. So when we grew up, I mean, it was just game on play all the time. This was much work. Okay. We knew we had to do something special to continue every process in the selection process. And, you and do it, you she's spearheaded. She was our boss. <laughs> she worked us hard. <laughs> Karen was our logistics girl. Karen sure. told us where we needed to be and where we might enjoy staying and what time to be there. And it, we just all melded together and did very well. Uh, so, like I said, having so much fun, the money was just an added bonus. And you do it, it again. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. That's yeah. great. We, we, act, we hope we do. They are starting to do family favorites, and they already told oh, us. Oh, really? We'll yeah, they sent a couple so. years. They okay. hope to have us back. So. That's a really great Hopefully idea. Hopefully, that's too. our next big show we do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But we are doing the Kiwanis uh, March oh, yeah. 29th. Yeah. Winnemac okay. Kiwanis. Winnemac Club. Kiwanis. We're going to be the evening entertainment. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good. <laughs> hope they're ready to Good. Come. <laughs> now I don't know about you guys, but I'm awake now. <laughs> hey, that's what you do. We're that There's only three of us. If all five of us were here, it would. You know, but that's okay. Okay, so you mentioned about you're going to do Kiwanis. Are you interested in doing other things like that around? Yeah. Oh yeah, we love it. Yeah, we, we, yeah. And we when the opportunity arises, we're like, sure. Now there's some of us that are more self-employed. So we can kind of be more available, but you know, having we all have we're all career people, which we didn't talk about that on the Family <laughs> Feud show. We never went to our professional side. That was however, boring. yeah, that was boring. <laughs> so I mean, we can do. We're, we're hoping for all opportunities. It's Excellent. just so fun. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for well, having us. Thank you for having us. been pretty all boring, but... Maybe we can liven it up next time. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, our trivia this morning. Uh, the fifth most stressful job according to Career Cast Report of 2016. What are my choices? Uh, Broadcaster. Yeah, let's see. Surgeon. Surgeon. Broadcaster. Event coordinator. All right. Surgeon. No. No. Event coordinator. Event coordinator. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. I don't know what's so stressful about that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> our niece is an event coordinator. No, is you guys oh, we're supposed that, to be right? excited okay. again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right. Let's close with these words of wisdom. Now, pay attention. Here. Okay. okay. We are. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is uh, by Shirley Mont Hofster, who's uh, an American lawyer and judge who served uh, as the first U.S. Secretary of Education under Jimmy Carter. Now, are you impressed with that? Yeah. Okay, she sure. says, if you play it safe in life, you've decided that you don't want to grow anymore. That's right. Uh, well said. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Hopkins Sisters from Wilmette. Thank, thank you for being here on the first federal program. Buying your first home? 
Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.